All right, what's popping, everybody? We are back with another reaction video. All right, so you guys asked me to do the part two with MJ Harris and his lover, um, Corey. I forgot the name. I have to go look at it. So we're about to get into it. I hadn't watched it yet. So uh, this is going to be my first time watching this video. So we're going to watch it together. It's only six minutes. So let's get into it. All right, let's see what they're talking about. Everybody, get in here, get in here, get in here right now. Today is a very sad day. <sighs> Just because I don't, I know a lot of people were saying that this was staged, but my thing is, why are you that close with the camera, with the tears in your eye? It's so dramatic. But okay, let's get into it. Because um, Corey is moving out. Hey. Hey. <laughs> See, this is where they say that the, the, the stuff is staged. So now it's everybody get in here, get in here. Then you got Corey coming in with a box and he moving on. Hey, hey, girl, I know you lying. Um, I'm telling them what's going on. So um, Corey is moving out and um, oh, hi. I am a little bit, y'all, a little bit. So, um, <laughs> Corey, you stop. I'm just trying to figure out what, what's going on here. Um, basically, um, <laughs> I, we're not, uh, what? Wait, let me go back. Oh, you just couldn't talk. Let me see. Let's go back. I, we're not. Uh, you know what? I know this is not right for me to say. This is so not right for me to say. This is so not right for me to say. But you know what? Like, I be seeing why straight people be looking at us like we crazy sometimes. Because it's like, you you big buff man. You know what I mean? Y'all too big buff men. You sitting here whimpering and crying like this. And I know men have emotions too. And I'm a gay man myself. But I be like, this big old masculine buff man over here crying like a biz naive. Man up. You got too many muscles to be sitting here whimpering like that. <laughs> but no, I get it. Stop crying. Um, this is hard. I know. Girl, get to the point. I know that I'm doing the right thing. That doesn't make it any easier. You know? It doesn't make it easy. So basically, um, for those of y'all who have been watching, um, it, we've been getting to know each other trying to decide if we want to date further. We start all as friends and try to explore more. Um, and during a conversation, it came up that Corey is just, he doesn't feel the monogamy. Right, Corey wants to go get game banged by couples. Any man he sees on the street, any man he's attracted to, he wants to be able to get plowed and plummeted through without any question or concern or remorse. Yes, we understand. We've been watching. Now get to it. It's for him. And I respect that, but I also respect that my values and my needs are my values and my needs. And I'm respecting my values and my needs, and I'm going to need your grown ass, your buff ass to get these tears out your eyes and talk like a man. Stand up straight and be a man. Talk like a man. Mean what you say and say what you mean. And, and you know what I'm saying? Just get it out. And that's just not something I want to compromise. It's not something I feel comfortable having him compromise because monogamy, being with one person, is what I desire. And frankly, what I believe that I deserve because what I desire. Absolutely. And I agree. But why is Corey sitting there looking like Kenneth Petty? <laughs> but y'all don't know Kenneth Petty. That's Nicki Minaj's boyfriend. Like, he just be staring at her like that on this. Like, what is he looking at? Corey is just so stupid to me. Like, 
What are you doing? Finish packing. Why are you in the video, fool? So, over the last um, couple of days, we've been talking, and I let Corey like, girl, let's get this over with. I'm done. I don't got the coin. I'm tired. I'm. I got a. I got a dick appointment in a minute. Corey, like he got, he got him so he got a big old egg plant waiting for him. A couple actually, it might be ten. No, and they are going inside Corey at the same time. That that's the only thing he thinking about. You can look at it. He thinking about how many does it take to fill all of my holes. You can tell that's what Corey's thinking. He cannot wait for this video to be off so he can go down the street and get stuffed and plungered and clogged like a toilet. Full of shit. <laughs> he looking like he ready to get clogged. Um, I thought it was best that we not continue dating or even getting to know each other in that way. He felt the same way. You notice that he didn't even, his facial expression did not even move. He's just ready for you to stop talking, girl, so he can go get him some dude. And that, you know, that he spend more time at his place. Um, just because I think some space would be good for right now. Um, he definitely agrees. Just to kind of, you know, just give us both time to kind of just process and work through all this. I'm really, I'm really not happy about the decision that was made, but. But you are not going to let go of the several dicks that you are wanting to take on a daily and continuous life long basis. It's definitely a decision that I respect and just to be on the safe side to make sure we're doing what's right for both of us. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you that this is probably best. Yeah. And mm. I mm, mm, mm. This is probably best. Ain't enough. Listen, I'm telling you what it is, MJ. You too soft. You be walking around. You you look nice as a man, but you walk around rimpering and you too soft. He want him a nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, he wants something a little bit testosterone. You over there prancing and it's like he can't take that. You too big and buff to be that dainty and, and soft. He can't. He, he, that's not going to work for him. You can't be talking like this. <laughs> and built like the rock. I think the thing I want you all to keep in mind is that I'm not trying to make Corey out to be a bad guy. He's not a bad person, you know? I, no, he's just a nasty freak that's in the masculine man. I actually respect you for telling me the truth because I mean how many people jump into relationships and they're not ready for monogamy and they come in and they end up cheating and doing all kinds of craziness and hurting other person that's true you know I respect him for telling you too but at some point I feel like if he didn't tell you he was getting ready to go do it because it was at the point he didn't seen a couple of eggplants that he was ready to go suck and sit on and it was just a matter of time before he was going to get his taco split so I'm grateful that you told me the truth. You really didn't have a choice, girl. When you're getting to know somebody, you place a lot of hopes and dreams and what it could be. Well, no, you knew this about him. The word on the street is that she was, you know, she had got around for a while. And you had even said that you had had conversations about this, but you thought you were going to change him. But I don't know why when you sitting there prancing around the house in a tank top, you're hoping that this will be your forever love and this will be the one and that I know you lying. You did not think that, that was gonna be your forever love when this man clearly told you that he was into some freaky deaky. Girl, you I know you lying. I know you lying. You have had these conversations before. You said you had these conversations. You better stop lying to me. Yes, now I'm taking it personal. You lying to me now, because girl, I know you did not think that this was going to last or maybe you did you thought the finances was going to keep him what did you think what did you honestly think i want to know honestly i, I gotta go back and look at some more videos because i really wonder where did you meet this man i'm sure you met him at like a bar 
on an app. You didn't meet him at the library. I mean, who meets people at the library? But you know what I mean? You could have met him at, you didn't meet him at like Whole Foods or, you know, Publix or, you know. You probably met him and banged him the, the same night. You can stop looking, stop dating and, you know, move and just move into the next chapter of your life together. But that's not our story. Um, you know, that's that's not your story. And that he doesn't even want that to be his story at all. Look at his face. He don't even look comfortable with that story. His story is moving around and sitting on anything stiff. But not yours. <laughs> not our story. I'm really sad. This is... This is really not what I wanted. How is that not what you want? Well, maybe it's, no, no, it wasn't what you wanted. It wasn't what you wanted, but you're not really sad because all you have to do, if you really wanted it to work, you would say, hey, listen, I don't have to suck everybody's that I run into. I don't have to, I don't have to stroke every man I see off. I can just stroke you off the person that I live with and I'm in a relationship with. So you're not that sad because you're not sad enough to lead, to give away. I mean, to, to, to stop sitting on every Tom, Dick and Harry, <laughs> you're still sitting on Dick and Harry and even Tom and, and, and Jake and Mark and, and, and everybody else in the world. You don't give a damn. This wasn't what I, what I was expecting to happen. But you understand why it's happening, right? I do understand why. It's oh, really? What were you expecting? So do you think perhaps maybe MJ led you on to thinking that he was going to be, you know, a provider for you and you were going to just be able to go and get stuff through glory halls? It's happening. Yeah, I, I agree with you that this is probably best. I just want you all to know that doing what's best for you doesn't always feel good for you or for the other people who are impacted by it but you have to do what's best for you um i love Corey. i love you too but there's oh my god these edits are killing me i'm i'm like i'm like we going they editing like throwing this is not in order there's no amount of love that should make him or myself compromise the things that are most important to us. Why is she sitting there like a white woman? Like they still in the, like he not with you no more. You know how white women sit and talk like, you know, like on them commercials, on the infomercials, she's sitting there like a white woman. Like that's her husband. And we are just in it. This is we and him and my husband. And you know, for, like you're not a woman. You're not a white woman. And this is not your husband. Take him, get off of him. It's over. <laughs> not to please the other person, not to please you guys. We have to do what's best for us. Yeah, I just, so what's going to happen is I'll continue doing my videos. We're just going to be spending time. Well, of course you're going to continue doing your videos, girl. You done plotted and scam, not scam, but you know, you done schemed this whole thing and you done publicized all this. You done got all these views and coins off of it. You better continue your videos, girl. This is a part of your business, ain't it? Part. And in that time apart, we will slowly rebuild a friendship and all of that. Cause we're not parting on bad terms. No, we're not parting, we're on, not bad. parting on bad terms. Nothing negative just, to say. There's just wounds that need to be healed. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, during this time, I'm sure y'all gonna keep on asking me what's going on with him, what's going on with him. I'm probably not gonna be as responsive to those comments just because I want to give us time to kind of heal. Yeah. You know, we just need some space just right. He, no, ain't no healing for him. The healing for Corey is to go take the, the healing maybe for you. He's finna go get healed as soon as you turn this camera off. As soon as she takes that last box, to his apartment, he's going to go get healed in ways that you could have never imagined so. And don't you forget it. Right now, so this is not easy for me or for him, but. No, it's a lot easier for him because he let you know he needs other men. You are not desirable enough for him. We know it's for the best and well wait a minute this 
I cannot see this is what makes me like these freaking queens. I can't. It's so. I feel like I feel like like so dramatic. This is so gay, and I'm gay, but I'm just like this is so extra. This is so gay. Hold on. Did he move his face like that? And oh, these girls. Let me see. This is these. I, I could only, I, what I really want to say, I can't say, but I'm thinking like, what if my dad was watching this? The things that he would be saying right now. It's for the best and. Oh, just to touch his cheek and turn it. I know you lying. What they gonna do, kiss? I I swear to God I'll end this if they kiss. I want you to know that I do love you. Uh Why are you telling me that you love me now? You don't love me. You don't love him enough to stop taking dick. What do you, what does love got to do with it? What does love got to do with the fact that you want to go and get double stuffed and from every which way? You want to get showered with many cock a doodle doos. You want to get rained on, spit on, slapped, used, degraded by a couple and a couple of niggas, couples of niggas. So don't tell me you love me. Don't tell him you love him. You don't love him enough to give up your, your, your lifestyle. Um, I think we're, yeah, so, um, yeah, we won't go now, but, um, thank you guys for your support of us up to this point, and we'll be back. I have a lot of my, my own videos up, you know, we'll be back, and I just appreciate all of your support through the healing process, so comment below with anything positive that you want to say for either of us. I think we could use that right now. Definitely. Thank you for your support and your positivity. We love you. And we appreciate that you loved us on our journey. I'm gonna miss you. What? I'm gonna miss you? You're gonna try to... Okay, if he kisses him, I'm, I'm done. Uh... All right, y'all. <laughs> I can't take this. I can't take stuff like this. I can't, I can't. I can't take this kind of shit, man. This shit is, just, I can't, I can't, this, I can't with this, 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 this shit. This gay ass shit. <laughs> oh my God. No, but honestly, if this is, I mean, we, I wish them the best of luck, but this is, a, to me, this is a freaking joke. Um, Entertaining nonetheless, but these people gotta be stopped. Okay, Corey, you're full of it. MJ, girl, you need to tighten up and toughen up. You you too damn big and buff to be that dainty and soft. But anyway, what do y'all think? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. And until next time, I'm going to see y'all soon. <laughs>